one of the most tragic events in world history involved the systematic planned killing of 11 million people and the extreme authority of one ruler by the name of Adolf Hitler. Anti-Semitism did not originate with Adolf Hitler, but goes all the way to the ancient world when the Romans condemned the Jews and forced them out of Palestine and destroyed the temples. Throughout the centuries, feelings of anti-Semitism have lasted and have taken on racial rather than religious character. Serving in the First World War, Adolf Hitler was just one of many people who blamed the defeat of Germany on the people of Jewish denomination. Many Germans agreed with Hitler and was looking towards someone to blame for the German defeat and failures. After the war, Hitler joined the National Socialist Work German Workers' Party, where he was later arrested for treason. There in jail, he wrote a memoir by the title of Mein Kampf, or My Struggle in English. In this piece of writing, he stated about the extermination of the Jews and the superiority of the Aryan or Nazi race. Coming out of jail, he gained power over rival parties, becoming Chancellor of Europe, and later appointing himself as the supreme ruler after the death of President Paul von Hindenburg. The first step Hitler took in an attempt to exterminate the non-Aryans was to rid them from government jobs in an attempt to achieve racial purity. Next were the Nuremberg Laws, which made it mandatory for all Jews to wear the Yellow Star of David, and also took away the German citizenship, occupations, and property from the Jews. They also took away clients from Jewish doctors and lawyers, and now many people were unemployed. On November 19th and 10th of 1938, Nazi stormtroops arrested many Jews, invaded their homes, liquidated businesses, and burned synagogues from all over Germany. This later became known as the Crystal Night, or Night of Broken Glass. On this night, around 100 Jews were killed in addition to the thousand of arrests the stormtroopers made. At the beginning of the war in 1939, Germany invaded much of Poland and forced Polish Jews into ghettos where they were gated off from the rest of the world and suffered from hunger, disease, and overpopulation. In the spring and summer months of 1940, Germany continued to spread throughout Europe, taking over countries such as Norway, Belgium, Luxembourg, France, and more. The Jews, gypsies, mentally disabled, and other Others who did not resemble the perfect phrase from all of these countries were forced to move to Polish ghettos. Many of them were shot at the first sight of seeing the Nazi stormtroops. From that time on became known as the Final Solution where Hitler ordered the Jews to be moved from the ghettos into different concentration camps. He wanted the genocide of all the Jews in Europe and ordered them to be killed in these concentration or labor camps. Some of the most infamous camps include Dachau and Auschwitz. In order to transport them, thousands of Jews were crammed into wooden rails at a time. Trips to these labor camps lasted up to 10 long, terrifying days where they had little to no food or water and suffered from suffocation because of the innumerable amount of people in each crate. Upon arriving at the camps, they were separated into lines, which determined if they were to either do hard labor or be immediately killed. In addition, the Jews had no access to food at the camps, were branded by a tattoo, and many of them had their heads shaved. Many of them also brought their valuable belongings in suitcases, as they were told they would be relocated in Europe. However, most of their valuables were taken, and even people with golden teeth had them taken out. Every day they would work until they passed out or ultimately died. Simultaneously, when Jews were continuing to enter, work, or be killed, a doctor by the name of Joseph Mengele, also known as the Angel of Death, carried out dangerous experiments on the camp prisoners. Working with Hitler, Mengele injected deadly germs into the camp prisoners or put chemicals into their eyes and skin in an attempt to further eliminate the Jews. While many Jews were being forced out of their homes and into concentration camps, some family managed to stay hidden from all from the Nazi Germany soldiers. One of the most well-known fam families is the Frank family, whose hidden life was documented by the family daughter, Anne Frank. The family managed to stay hidden by taking refuge in apartment attic behind the office of Anna's Frank father, Otto. The family managed to stay alive in the secret annex for over a year until they were finally caught and sent to concentration camps, where everyone living in the annex died except Otto. Upon returning to their secret room, he discovered Anna's, Frank, Anna's Frank's writings and published them into a book titled The Diary of Anna Frank. In 
order to get rid of the Jews much quicker, Hitler created systematic plans for mass exterminations in addition to the constant labor, random shootings, and beatings of the Jews. Hitler and the Nazis had perfected the science to mass killings. In order to carry out these mass exterminations, the German Nazis constructed death camps, six of them located in Poland. Each camp had many gas chambers where thousands of Jews could be killed each day. The Jews were tricked into taking showers and were even given a piece of soap, but little did they know they were on their way to death. As soon as they entered into these so-called showers, poison cyanide gas was released through the vents. After they died, the Jews who were first deemed as fit or able to work were usually the ones performing the tasks of burying or burning the dead bodies. As many as 12,000 people were killed each day. By the spring of 1945, German leadership began to slowly disappear while the Allied armies began to liberate the concentration camps. Hitler soon later committed suicide and the formal surrender of Germany happened a week later. In the end, more than 11 million people tragically died with over half of those people of the Jewish religion. Today, the concentration camps stand as memorials and are visited each year by many people to see the house relics.